What's going on, everybody? Welcome into Ravens Rundown, powered by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Joey Peterson, and today we got a fun one on tap. I'm going to give my 53-man roster projection. Cut that day is coming soon. Let's see who I've got making the roster after the first two preseason games. But before we get into that, head over to X. Go ahead and follow me over there. You can find me at Joey Peterson 8 Very crucial. Peterson spelled not with an O at the end. It's with an E. I've got 718 followers currently. That number's gone up over the past week a lot. Let's keep it rising. Can I get to 750? What you'll get, if you follow me on X, you get a shout-out on Saturday's live show, and you'll get a guy tweeting about Ravens every single day. So head over there, Joey Peterson 8, and give me a follow. Let's start with today's show. The cuts are coming, guys. The cuts are coming. Ravens training camp practice wrapped up last week. They've been practicing early this week. They'll head to Green Bay, I believe, today, and then they'll play a joint practice with the Packers tomorrow. And cut-down day is Tuesday, August 27th, and that will happen at 4 p.m. Eastern time. It's going to be a fun time. So let's tell you, if I was making the cuts, who I'd have on this roster. We'll start with the quarterback position. No surprises here. Number one, Lamar Jackson. Number two, Josh Johnson. If I'm being honest, guys, I've seen enough from Johnson, and I've seen enough from Leary. There, I, I, I don't need any more convincing. Uh, I don't need any more convincing that Josh Johnson the, the guy. I don't need any more convincing that Devin Leary's not the guy. When you look at the way that he's played these last two preseason games, the improvement's astronomical, right? That first game, 4 for 12, 62 yards. He had a 51.4 rating, but then he just backed that up with a perfect game. 11 for 11, 120 yards, a touchdown, and a rating of 142.4. Josh Johnson's the guy, Devin Leary's not, so that's what we're rolling with with quarterbacks. Let's talk running backs. Derrick Henry, filling out that number three spot. Keaton Mitchell will not be on this because he'll be on the pup list, and he will most likely go on the active pup list, which means he'll miss have to miss at least the four, first four games of the season. He won't take up a roster spot, but he will eventually. Because we all know he's going to come back and be that running back two position. So behind him, I've got Justice Hill, Rasheen Ali, and Patrick Ricard. Now, Rasheen Ali, that might be a surprise to you. I've talked about Owen Wright a lot the past week. I was really high on Owen Wright. And then he did what he did against the Falcons, right? He comes out against the Eagles, seven carries, 33 yards, 4.7 yards per carry. I was here saying, okay, he's a UDFA, and you wasted a draft pick on Rashid Ali. Give this guy the spot, and then against the Falcons, just didn't have it. I, I think he needed to show a lot that game, and he didn't. Eight carries, nine yards, 1.1 yards per carry. I think this battle will be determined in this final preseason game. I really do. Now... I don't know who that helps. Rasheen Ali has been in and out of practice, so I'm not sure if he's playing. It could be all on Owen Wright. The cards could all be in his hands. So we'll see if he'll be able to do it. But I think ultimately they're going to go with the guy they drafted, go with Rasheen Ali, a guy they might see a little bit more upside in. Uh, I think Owen Wright had it leading into last week, but it uh, looks like that may have been fumbled away. Who do you guys think will be the RB3 on this roster? Let me know down there in the comment section. Type OW for Owen Wright. Type RA for Rasheen Ali. Now to the wide receivers. I got six spots. I'm not telling you my sixth guy yet. I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you waiting a little bit longer. Keep you holding on. I got Zay Flowers, Rashad Bateman, Nelson Aguilar, Devontae Walker, Tylen Wallace. All those guys are obvious. Those first four, we've been looking at them all pre or all this training camp as locks for this roster. Tylen Wallace has shown enough in these past couple preseason games. And for that last wide receiver spot, I've got Dayton Wade. Dayton Wade. Wade is who I'm rolling with. And based on the comment section of a lot of my videos this week, I think Dayton Wade might be a guy you guys are rolling with as well. I think he's done enough to make this roster. I really do. And it's not just the statistics, but it's just the way that he looks out there. But then when you look at the statistics, they're phenomenal. Four receptions, 27 yards, 6.8 yards per catch, 13 was the longest. That was the first preseason game. Mind you, we only completed 10 passes that game, and he got four of them. Then against the Falcons, two receptions, 67 yards, 33.5 yards per catch. His longest was that 56-yard touchdown from Emory Jones. And if you remember on that route, 
he did a little, you know, one of those classic backyard moves where he stuttered and then, I mean, just broke the guy down. He's been more durable, he's been more reliable, and he's been more impressive over the past two weeks or over the past two months. And I think you're going to choose either Deontay Hardy or you're going to choose either Dayton Wade. But I think you go with the guy who's giving you the play over the pedigree, right? He's an undrafted guy. They don't, they, you don't know. You know you've know. you never seen him in the NFL, but what we've seen in preseason so far has convinced me enough. He needs to make it impossible for them to not let him on this roster. So who do you guys think it should go to, right? Who makes it? Is it Dayton Wade? Is it Deontay Hardy? I think it's Wade. I think a lot of you might think it's Wade as well, judging by the comment section. But y'all let me know down below. Tied in. Super easy one. Mark Andrews, Isaiah Likely, Charlie Kolar. No discussions, no disagreements. There shouldn't be any for those. Those are the guys. Uh, I'm excited to see Isaiah Likely step up a little bit this season. Uh, but th that one's easy. Let's head to that offensive line. We got Ronnie Stanley, Andrew Voorhees, Tyler Linderbaum, Daniel Falele, and Roger Rosengarten. I chose those first five basically in the order that they're going to play on the offensive line. I think that's going to be it. Left tackle to right tackle, I think that's the lineup. Then, for the depth, for the backups, Ben Cleveland, Josh Jones, Patrick McCarry, Tayshawn Manning, and Nick Samak. Jeff Zrebic tweeted this just yesterday or excuse me, two days ago. He said the Ravens still have some offensive line spots to figure out. Feels like eight are locks. Stanley, Linderbaum, Voorhees, Falele, Rosengarten, Makari, Jones, Cleveland. They need to figure out nine or ten. So that's w one or two spots with Samak, Sala, Tayshaun Manning as the main competitors. I just think that Manning has proven a little bit more than Sala has. And I know it's only been a couple of preseason games, but there's been times in practice that that he's been running with the twos pretty consistently. And so I think he edges out Salah for that last spot. I think they take a chance, and I think it's a good one on Manning. Now before we head in to the defensive side of the ball, i got to tell you about the sponsor for today's video, and that is Game Time. Game Time is the place to go for the best seats at the lowest prices guaranteed. If you can't wait for the season to be here and want to get tickets to the big game locked down, you're going to want to give Game Time a shot. Game time is the only place I go when I'm trying to get tickets to any college football or NFL game. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to kickoff. Game Time even has a new feature. It's called Game Time Picks, and that makes getting your tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats, so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. My wife and I love going to football games, and when we do, we get our tickets off game time. I think my favorite thing about the entire app is the fact that you can look at what you'll be seeing before you even buy the ticket. Countless times in my life, I've shown up to a game and the seats seem way too high and I can't see anything or there's just something random sitting in front of me, like a pole or something, and I'm like, okay, if I would have seen this before, I wouldn't have bought the ticket. Well, not with game time. You can see exactly what you'll be looking at from your seat before you even purchase the ticket. Take the guesswork out of buying NFL tickets with game time. Download the game time app, create an account, and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code CHATSP ORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. Let's head over that defensive line. This one seems pretty easy. This is kind of more interior defensive line. Michael Fier Pierce, Justin Metabike, Travis Jones, Broderick Washington, and Brent Urban. I've got my eyes out of all those guys on Travis Jones. And you say, okay, why him? Why not Justin Matabike? Seems like an easy guy to keep your eyes on. Well, we know who Justin Matabike is. We know what he can be. Travis Jones is a guy that I'm expecting to kind of have a breakout season. I'm not the only one, though. John Harbaugh thinks the exact same thing. He had this to say. I have a big vision for Travis. He and I have talked about it. A really big vision. I really have high expectations for Travis Jones to have one of those years that is going to be memorable. I really believe that's going to happen this year. I'm looking forward to it. He's put the work in and he continues to do work. He looks great. Let's head over to the outside, right? The edges, the offense, or the outside linebackers. We got Adafi Owe, Adisa Isaac, David Ajabo, Tavius Robinson, and Kyle Van Noy. 
No surprises there either. But I do think that this is the most important group on this football team. It's been, multiple articles have been saying, okay, this is going to be the biggest weakness. How are you going to subsidize or how are you going to fill in the spot that Javion Clowney left? How are you going to do all this? How are you going to do all that? You got 60 sacks last year. How are you going to do that again? Well, the good thing is that so much of that production is going to be right back this year. 87% 87% of their QB hits, 79% of their sacks are still on this team. They're going to be just fine. And I truly do expect guys like David Ajabo, who we've seen in this preseason so far, kind of get back in the swing of things. Like Adisa Isaac, who's kind of battling through injuries. I think he should be ready to go week one against the Chiefs. And Adafi Owe, those guys to take massive steps up and their production skyrocket. I don't know if we're going to get 60 sacks this year. But we're going to get a lot. I can promise you that. Who do you guys think leads that group in sacks? You saw the five. Is it Adolfo AOA? Is it Adisa Isaac? Who do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now the linebackers. Roquan Smith, Trenton Simpson, Malik Harrison, and Chris Board. A pretty solid group right here. Anytime a group's going to be led by Roquan Smith, by Agent Zero, it's going to be a pretty solid group. The big question in this is, can Trent Simpson make that step up? Can he replace Patrick Queen? We don't need him to be Patrick Queen, but we need him to give a lot of production, right? We don't need him to go out there and get 150 tackles, but we need him to not be a sore spot in this defense. I think what he's shown so far in the preseason, he can do that. Let's go to secondary, to the quarterbacks. Brandon Stevens, Marlon Humphrey, Nate Wiggins, TJ Tampa, then I got Pepe Williams, and then finally to round that group out, I got Jalen Armour Davis. Now, why do you have Demarion Williams, right? Why do you have Pepe in there, Joey? Well, I think because it's, he's playing that nickel corner position, and he's been such an effective blitzer over the past couple games, having multiple tackles for loss and even a sack in the last game against the Falcons. I think he makes a roster. I really do. You're not going to ask him to be a starter. You're not going to be asking him to, hey, go out and cover every single rep, every single snap of this game. He's a depth piece, and if depth pieces have things that, okay, they're slightly better than than other guys at at this one niche thing, a lot of times advantage goes to that guy, and I think that's how it's going to work out with Pepe Williams. That means Arthur Millette is getting cut. Who do you guys think gets cut? Is it Damari Williams? Is it Arthur Millette? He's been battling with some injuries. I just think there's a little more upside with, with Pepe. You guys let me know down below. Type Pepe for Demarion Williams. Type Arthur for Arthur Mallette. To the safeties we go. Kyle Hamilton, Marcus Williams, Eddie Jackson, or Darius Washington. And that 50 spot, I got my guy Bo Braid. I got my guy Bo Braid. I said it. I think Bo Braid's making this roster. I really do. He's shown me enough over the last two weeks. He really has. Undrafted free agent out of Maryland. A lot of UDFAs I, I have making this roster now that I'm, I'm just thinking about it. I don't know if that goes to how poorly we've been drafted or how well we've been developing talent. I don't know. I've got to make it this roster. But when you look at these last two preseason games, three tackles, two solo, one tackle for loss against the Eagles. He also forced a fumble that game on special teams. And then against the Falcons, eight tackles, five of those solo, didn't get a tackle for loss. But he led the team in tackling. He's made plays. He's made his name heard every game so far. I expect him to do the same against Green Bay, and I think if he does, I think he makes this roster. He's been there. He's been available, right? So you see Kane hasn't. And what's the old saying? The best ability is availability. Exactly. He's been available. I think he makes it. I really think he does. He's shown me enough. To the specialists, Justin Tucker, Jordan Stout, Nick Moore. It's funny, Justin Tucker might genuinely be the best player that we have on this 53-man roster. Might be right behind Lamar Jackson at number two. So, there's the 53-man roster. There it is. That is who I think the Ravens will be rolling into week one against the Chiefs with. Do you guys like it? What do you think? Grade it. How would you grade this 53-man roster? A, B, C, D, or F? I'll allow some pluses and minuses in the chat. I give it a, I'm not going to lie I think I'm rocking with ARA minus. I still think the Ravens have one of the best rosters 
in the National Football League. Thanks so got, so much, guys, for tuning in today. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Ravens TV, best place to be. And also, follow me on Twitter. Y'all have a great day. Thank you.